So, if you've never played DD Crew, then don't. It hasn't been ported to home systems for really good reasons. First, because it's the gameplay definition of the phrase, this sucks. Second, it's got street level slang with the equivalent of a dad level knowledge of said slang. Take a load of this wild thing. What does that even mean? Is wild thing an insult? It actually seems more like a compliment. It's, it's just all so confusing. Including this phrase from the intro that I really wish would have been verbally stated. But because they didn't decide to add this one in, I'll just do it myself in DD Crew style. You got a bomb in your park. And there's no reason to find out if he's actually saying, yo, I got a bomb in your park. Or why would you put a bomb in an amusement park anyway? All you have to know is that this surprisingly came from the same company that gave us Streets of Rage. However, since both of those games came out the same year, I can give Sega a pass. But anyway, since the game supports the ability to have three players fight as the DD crew, then they can also enjoy the experience of completely wasting their money with a crew of fighters each as useless as the other. All while listening to poorly acted dialogue like this. You are in for some roughing, man. <laughs> it seems like he either forgot who he was talking to mid-sentence or simply forgot how to pronounce the word man, and he still didn't get it right. It doesn't really matter though because DD Crew is a game that does things like featuring a Bruce Lee impersonator quoting his famous line. You. Die. I don't know if he is commanding you to die, if he's surprised that it's you and that he wants you to die, who knows. All I know is that he fights terrible, you fight terrible, and no matter who the bad guy is, they all say the same thing when they hit. Go! 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 Da! The karate guy. Bruce Lee. The weird knife guys. These idiots who have guns but don't shoot them. And this guy who didn't even get hit and said it. The point is that they took all the knowledge they acquired while learning the logistics and play mechanics of brawlers at the time and completely screwed it up. Really, like this dude punches up. Why? Oh yeah, also they screwed up making this game family friendly because they basically dropped the MF bomb for the cutscene intro. Wow, it's a pretty big one right there. Yeah, you can get away with the dam at the beginning, but that MF drop? Eesh. Why is this song so angry anyway? Uh, maybe it's because yo got a bomb in your park. Who cares? Basically, yeah, the game has fighting in it, but it's just awful. Like, it's just made entirely the wrong way. Kind of like if you had a pizza only made with no pizza, but instead extra crust. This game is crust pizza. And only a crust pizza game would have the last boss yell, Aha! Surprise! After he shoots a missile launcher that knocks you about 30 stories down and you land on your What the hell kind of drug would make you create something? Anyway. All of the dull villains are financed by selling bootleg video equipment and overpriced airline tickets. So <laughs> I guess the whole deal is that they're a threat to consumerism worldwide. I don't know. And they even have a meeting room that features this weird dude that tells you earlier, I'm coming through. <laughs> what? Coming through where? You're standing there throwing explosive barrels. You're not even moving. <laughs> Did they play test this? Or just tell the voice actors to say phrases and then connect them with whatever suggestion the dolphin pressed its nose on? I guess I should thank those courageous dolphins for providing me one of my most favorite lines ever. Long time no see! Forever! Okay, so, so first let me say that was delivered beautifully bad. You get the chef's kiss of garbage with that one. Also, I'm not even gonna try to mentally process what long time no see forever means. I just know that it's one of the best lines I've ever heard since I've started listening to game voices. It defines the word infamous. Well, that and this one too. It led that head. I love it. So there you go. Our strange DD Crew heroes that are old, useless, and do praise punches survive to the end and vanquish 
poor shopping habits, I don't know, and I don't care. All I know is that DD Crew gets a B for voice quality and a D for acting. Actually, make that a double D because it's just that bad. And they're a crew of idiots. But really, it's just so charming. Now, don't mind me as I go out and do and da for a minute. Do, do, da.